Good morning, everybody. Good morning, YouTube. All right, I just woke up. The time is... Oh, let's see here. October 16th, 2012. The time is 9... Oh, my eyes are not too darn good. It's after 9 o'clock in the morning here in northwestern Ontario. Alright, last night, I went into my uh, akimi.com where you make pictures. Um, if you look at, if you've seen the last video I made, it, it'll explain it all. For some reason, uh, a, a whole bunch of my pictures were taken out of there. I did not delete them at all. I did not erased them out of that my profile there. I had over 25 some pictures of great looking pictures I made from blingy.com. Okay. Uh, and I use that other account there, kimi.com, to modify those pictures, you know, and share them to the world, to other people that like them. And some people do like them. I have the option to put a little circle on there that people can actually put their photos on there to, sh to share my photos to enjoy them. But they can't do it now because for some reason, Ikimi.com, I can't pronounce it right, but you probably get a good idea what site that is. Uh, they apparently, they took my photos out of there for some reason. And this is not the first time they did it. But anyways... I uh, just woke up, I uh, emailed them last night about the problem, the inquiry, where's those pictures and all that. I got a response, but not the kind of response I'm looking for. Uh, number one, when I was going to my Facebook account, before I get to this one, uh, when I went to my Facebook account, I went to one of the pictures that are gone. And I double clicked on the ikimi.com link to go to that picture. Apparently, I'm I'm the user of that picture. <laughs> Ikimi comes up with this. Uh, the the user of uh, this video is is not authorizing you to view it. To view it, uh, it's got to be published. Those photos were all published, and they have the audacity to come up with a lie like that. They took them out, period. This ain't the first time they did that. But anyways, okay, what I was getting back to, I got the email back from, I'm answering them, where are those pictures? Is there a glitch or something? The only kind of response I got back was a whole bunch of dialogues, how to delete what is a delete? Uh, what is trash? How to trash your photos? How to get rid of your photos and all that? I didn't get no response of where those pictures are. I'm getting jumbo jumbo. I'm not getting the, the answer I need. So I have no clue what they're doing. This ain't the first time they did this. All right, I used to be a Akimi fan. I was paying what? How much money? A dollar, two dollars, three dollars a month for other features that you can use on there. Uh, they took a whole bunch of, uh, not twenty some pictures the last time. A whole bunch. We're talking two hundred pictures they took, and I was pretty upset. They didn't give me the answer then, so I stopped paying them for that other feature. And I was away from them for quite a while. So I decided to go back there, not to pay them, but to use their site just to modify the pictures I get from Blingy.com. If you want to make pictures, go there. Blingy.com. There you don't have no hassles. They never took any of my pictures away, okay? But still, I don't know what ikimi.com is doing, but uh, 
they're stealing your photos. They're wondering where's your photos. You're not going to get no response back. You're not going to get nothing. So if you're deciding, wondering where your pictures are, don't bother. Just make a video like this and just complain about it because, frankly, I think it's a scam. A father and son owns the site and they're gobbling over people's money. And probably what I think what they're doing, uh, stealing other people's uh, photos and using them for, I don't know, there are companies out there like for Halloween, for example, you go to a, hel uh, you're getting Halloween decoration, you, see, you notice those stick-ons that you can put on your windows and all that. Where do you think they get the ideas for those, for those uh, Halloween get-ups? Probably from people like us that make uh, Halloween uh, decorations, you know, photos, and they transform those into, that's probably how they're doing it. That's probably why my photos are disappearing like that. They're probably using them and selling them over the internet to those companies so they can get paid for it. You ever wonder about that? But anyway, that, yeah, yeah. So my next video, and it'll be the last about ikimi.com, I'm going to bring out the videos. Not the, I'm going to bring out a video. I know it's early. I just woke up. I have my coffee. <laughs> I'm going to make a video and I'm going to post out there what those pictures are. And those are the pictures that are gone. So so my next video will be about them again and it will be my last thing I'm going to say about ikini.com. So you guys judge it. But if you guys want to go to a good site, if you make pictures, you like doodling around making pictures, go to blingy.com. That's an excellent site. I never had no problems. The only thing about that site is if there's any bad mouth and like swearing or that or arguing with another person on there, uh, they will ban you. They will ban you out of that site. So really, it is a good it is a good site. It is a lot of great looking pictures on there, and easier to uh, oh. Just try it out. Go to blingy.com. But anyways, my next video you will see will be the ones that I got are missing. But I got them. They're, in, they're stored away in my files. But the point of the matter is they stole them. And on uh, the next video, you'll see what kind of pictures I have. And you judge. <coughs> All right. So, later.